There was actually a time when if you picked up a Canon or an Nikon camera, you had to rely on the super expensive Canon or Nikon glass to get quality images. But things are changing and changing for good. Let's check out how. Hi guys, this is Shiv and welcome to technology. Let's talk about camera tech. One of the workhorse lenses in both Canon and Nikon lineup, especially for the full frame cameras, is the 24-70 f2.8 lens. This is one such lens which is considered essential if you are a person who is shooting full frame cameras because the uses for this is versatile. You can shoot anything from street photography to landscape to portraits to events and anything that you can think about. But when it comes to the specific lens from these manufacturers, especially Canon and Nikon, these are very, very expensive. Of course, it comes with quality, but the price that you're paying for a Canon equivalent of a 2470 f2.8 lens is somewhere close to $1,900. And the Nikon equivalent of this is close to about $1,800. But if you opt for a VR version of the Nikon equivalent, it costs you anywhere around $2,400. And this is a lot of money. But in good old days, there were no alternatives to these lenses from other manufacturers like Tokina or Tamron or Sigma or any of such manufacturers. But as I said, things are changing and changing really fast. And companies like Sigma and Tamron are catching up with this game and they're producing fantastic lenses and equivalent of this 2470 f2.8 lenses at an affordable cost, which will definitely not break your bank. Let's talk about Sigma first. Sigma has been ruling the waves in the photography industry over the last few years with the art series of lenses. These are fantastic and superior quality photography lenses. And one of such lenses which I personally used is the 18-35 to f1.8 zoom lens. This is a lens which is mainly used for APS-C sensor, but this is one of the most sought after art lens from Sigma. But recently, Sigma released their revamped and redesigned 2470 f2.8 lens under their art lineup. Because we all know that the Sigma art series lenses are fantastic in optical performance and also they come at a very affordable cost. For example, this particular 2470 f2.8 OS lens from Sigma will cost you just about $1,300 compared to the ones which I mentioned about Canon and Nikon earlier in this video. Sigma calls this lens premium workhorse ultra fast zoom lens and this is meant for all the newer generation high megapixel cameras like the 5D series from the Canon or the D800 series in the Nikon. All thanks to the design, these lens comes with superior image quality and the autofocus rendering especially at f2.8 in these lenses are circular creamy bokeh. The best thing about these Sigma lenses is that each of these Sigma lenses gets individually evaluated in their factory in Japan and these are unlike other uh, lenses wherein you get to buy a lens and you find some issues, you send it back to the company and they do recalibration or probably send a replacement. There is nothing unlike this. Sigma does a very good quality check on their lenses and there's definitely not going to be any issues that you'll face when you're picking up one of these lenses. Let's now switch over to Tamron and Tamron is not too far behind. Tamron also released their equivalent of the 2470 f2.8 lens and this is under their SP lineup. The SP lineup in Tamron is much equivalent to the Sigma Art series of lenses. We have seen a lot of fantastic lenses that have come up in the SP lineup, especially the prime lenses like the 35-1.8, 45-1.8 and even the 85-1.8 along with the other zoom lenses. But these SP lineup as the Tamron themselves claim are the superior optical performance lenses meant for the higher end DSLRs which are available in the market right now. And the 2470 which is a newer launch is no exception. The price tag for this particular Tamron lens which is a 2470 f2.8 VC, yes, vibration compensated lens is about $1200. It's way less than whatever the Canon or the Nikon has to offer but there is absolutely no compromise on the image quality that you get out of these particular lenses. Tamron claims that all thanks to its design and having dual processor inside the lens, it can offer dedicated processor both for the autofocus as well as the vibration compensation. This will ensure that you get super fast autofocus as well as best in the class vibration compensation. Tamron also claims that this particular lens, 2470 f2.8 lens, has the best in class vibration compensation up to five stops which is one stop more than what an equivalent from Nikon will give to you. This lens also comes with an E-band coating, which is a proprietary coating from uh, Tamron and it avoids all this ghosting and flaring that happens, especially when you're shooting against the light or even when you're shooting backlit subjects. But this doesn't stop there. One of the most common questions that we get to face from people who pick up a new DSLR or beginner DSLR users is that they want to know which is that one best lens that they can pick up 
uh, which can cover everything from wide angle to telephoto and the answer was pretty difficult in past so usually people used to refrain from investing on a high end canon or a nikon lenses and they usually used to end up buying something like a 55 250 which is an absolute stupid lens but this changed when nikon released their 18200 and they upgraded it to 18300 the 18300 was one of the fantastic lenses it was a f3.5 to f5.6 lens and it had vibration reduction uh, embedded into it so this was one of the best lens that we could suggest for Nikon users who wanted one lens for all purpose. 300 was not too much of a telephoto type of uh, focal length but people were happy with this lens. But one of the negative things about this lens was it was super expensive. We are talking about a thousand dollars for an 18300 VR lens from Nikon. This upset a lot of users because they are talking about a lens which can cover from 18mm to 300mm but they had to pay a very huge price for it and they were not ready because these are the beginner photographers who didn't want to spend too much money on their lenses or accessories. There was an equivalent from Sigma which is again an 18 to 300mm lens which costed about $400 but the optical performance of this particular lens was not up to the mark. Things just changed in the last couple of weeks when Tamron released the 18 to 400 lens. Yes, you heard it right. One of the world's first 22.2x ultra zoom lens, 18 to 400 DI2 HLD VC lens from Tamron. It's one of the best lens what you can pick up right now if you are on a budget and also if you are someone who is looking to buy that one single lens which will cover a whole gamut of your shooting from wide angle to telephoto. 18 to 400 is quite a decent range. The aperture range of this particular lens is not that great. It is for 3.5 to 6.3, but this is the only lens which is available in the market right now, which can cover such a huge gamut of uh, focal length, which is 18 millimeter to 400 millimeter. We are talking about 400 millimeter, which is on an APS-C camera, what it is meant for is an equivalent field of view of 600 millimeter, which is pretty decent enough for somebody who wants to use it for like say sport shooting or wildlife shooting. This might not give you the best in the class optical performance, but having said that you're, you're talking about a lens which costs about $650. And it's like one lens which you can put it on your camera and carry it anywhere wherever you're going. Whether it could be a vacation or you could be shooting an event or you could be even shooting some sort of a sports. Tamron claims that the magnification or the telephoto end which is 1 is 2.9 is very good for telephoto macro shots. Especially when you're shooting wildlife things like snakes or any of the deadly creatures. You might want to st keep a safe distance from them. and this is exactly one thing which Tamron has addressed here in this particular lens. Just like some of the newer Tamron lenses, this particular lens also comes with a tap-in dock which is basically a USB dock that Tamron provides. You can connect your lenses which are compatible with this tap-in feature using a USB dock to a computer and you can update your firmware for future cameras which might need calibration yourself so you don't have to send it back to a service center or to the manufacturer themselves so you can do it all by yourself by doing the firmware update using this particular USB dock and this is also available in the newer Sigma Art series lenses as well. So as I mentioned to you times are changing and things are changing you are now being able to procure lenses which can give you very good optical performance at a very reasonable rate and it won't break your bank and definitely these are some of the companies which, which you should look forward to in future because Sigma is also releasing a lot of very good cine lenses uh, in their kitty and also Tamron is catching up really well with uh, the lenses especially on the telephoto end. Personally I like the 7200 G2 as well as the 150 G2 lenses. This 18400 lens is very promising and I might even probably review it or even try it out uh, once it's available in probably early or end of August uh, this year. So I'll let you know my thoughts on how this lens performs and if it is that ultimate lens that you have been looking forward to which covers a very wide spectrum of shooting. So let's wait and watch for that. In the meantime, you do let me know what are your thoughts on the Sigma 2470 f2.8 and the Tamron 2470 f2.0 lens and whether you'll be picking them up for your style of shooting and whether the Tamron 18-400 to lens is the lens which you have been waiting for. That's it for this video and I'll catch you guys again in the next one. And one important thing, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for all the latest updates in the camera tech.